Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to go through the process of creating purchase orders and then converting them to bill. So let's start. So you'll click on new under vendors. You have the option of creating purchase orders. So you'll click on purchase order. Pick the vendor that you would like to place the purchase order with. Enter the details like mailing address, shipping address, if you need to change anything. And if you have the vendor set up already, you won't need to enter all this information again. So pick the item under product or service, which products you would like to purchase, the quantity, and then, okay. Enter any attachments if you would like to, add any attachments if you would like to, any message for your vendor, any notes you can put in the memo. And that's it. And we are going to click on save. This is how you would create a purchase order. Very simple. Now, QuickBooks Online has this really nice option of converting it to a bill without you having to enter all the information again manually. To convert it to a bill, you can go to the same purchase order and copy it to a bill from here. All the information comes up automatically. And you can enter the bill number, bill number one, two, three, four. Or there's another way of doing it. You can click on new bill, you'll pick the vendor. When you pick the vendor on the right hand side, it's going to provide you options of any open transactions for this vendor. So right now we have a purchase order for this vendor open. So we can add it. Now this shows up automatically, we are going to delete it. And based on the term set up for this vendor, it's net 10. So it's picking up the due date based on that. Bill number one, two, three, four. All the details are here. Add anything, add any document if you would like to. And you can save and close. So you didn't have to type in all that information again on the bill form because you had it in the purchase order form and you simply copied it to a bill. Now, one more thing we need to check here is we can go to vendors, same vendor, purchase order. See how the status has now changed. Once you have converted it to a bill, the status changes from open to closed. And you'll see these check marks here too which say the purchase order has been closed. And that's it. I just wanted you to look at it to see how the status changes from open to close once you have converted it to a bill. And that's it. That's how you would do a purchase order and convert it to a bill.